check check one two okay live stream nice all right let's get into it okay so hey guys hopefully watch this later uh and take advantage of some of the things i'm about to share uh i want to talk about this new scene collection that i've developed for you so you can try this out. I'll walk you through what it does. And um, I've also updated, oh, well, that's Chrome. Let's just go back here. I've also updated the repository uh, where I'm storing the scene collection. So you can download it from there and, and try this for yourself. Okay, so let me just show you how, and then if you have any questions, just leave a comment or message me on LinkedIn about it. Okay, so let me see if Zoom works. Uh, Zoom, does Zoom work? Yes, yeah, Zoom works. Okay, that's good. So let's talk about the scene collection. So what's new in the scene collection is a whole bunch of reorganization, some effects and things like that. Um, so firstly, uh, the way I order my scene collections, uh, I use dividers, I use numbers. Uh, and the reason for the dividers is so there's no grouping, right, in scene collections. And uh, the other part of this is when you are nesting, uh, it's nice to find it by the number. It appears before the alphabet. That's what I do with that. Um, so let's talk about that camber setup and I'll walk you through the different steps. So I've got a camera. So I've got that as a scene. So I'm capturing that. I've got left monitor. I've got city date time and I've made some updates to that. So hopefully this does not make a browser call to the internet. It just uses your local system. Uh, name title, like you've seen before. Uh, background scene, uh, put a Viva in there for you guys too. The meeting scenes, screen sharing, and last but not least some cool stuff like green screen and effects and so forth. So this works if you have XSplit. So XSplit is a software that can capture your camera and you can use it in Teams directly or you can bring it into OBS. So let me show you what I've configured in here. So inside the camera, you'll see there's one source. I've locked all these sources so you won't be able to move them around unless you unlock it, right? So in here, it's capturing a camera. If I double click this, you will see that you will have to drop this down. XSplit should be selected. If not, uh, you didn't have XSplit installed and you might have to use your own camera directly. If you use your own camera directly, you will not take advantage of some of the green screen effects in there. Let me just double click that. Deactivate, activate. Did XSplit just scrap out on me? Ooh, let's see if I can get XSplit going. Oh, there it is. Play, click OK. So that's the next split. Okay, so the next thing is left monitor. So in this, I'm capturing the monitor where I have OBS on. So it looks like OBS and OBS, but that's my left display. I also have a city date time. And what's new in here is I'm using an emoji. So feel free to update that emoji. I'll, I'll walk you through a little bit later how and which file to update. Okay, so you got your date time in there as well. I've hidden the old sources, so the old sources are still there, but they just don't seem to work correctly anymore. They don't format the date and time. You'll have to update your name and title, right? So do, unless you want to be me, shouldn't. <laughs> uh, update it and also update your logo. So put your own company logo in there if you like. Right. Background, I've got one in there, but I, I typically put backgrounds in one scene and then, you know, just nest that if I want a background. All right. So the idea is, you know, if you need to present yourself and or if you want to just look differently on your team's meeting, these overlays would look like this. You have a city date time and your uh, company logo. And if you have a stream deck, you could map these scenes to buttons. So if you click a button, it would just pop your title. And the way you do that is, you know, it's like, hey, how you doing? My name is Denzel. 
you know, I'm a Microsoft Teams specialist. I love using OBS. I love Teams. And then you can just go back and remove that from there, right? Okay. Um, the next one is screen sharing. So I think this is best if I do it this way, maybe. Let's see if I do it this way. All right, okay. So in this case, uh, I've selected the, hmm, actually this is not the better one. Let me go back to what I had originally. Okay, so in this case, my, my camera, I've not turned on green screen, so I can see the background here, but it's displaying whatever's on this display. So if I move this display around, you start to see things in here, right? Okay, so that's what that is. So whatever object you put in here, uh, you can display it, right? So that's uh, how that would work. Uh, you know, it would capture that display. Um, the next scene in here is full. If you just want to show your full screen without display, there's a little bit of a background at the back there. Uh, and of course, if you map that to a stream deck and if you clicked on your left monitor or whichever monitor you have, it would show the full screen. Last but not least, I want to show you these background effects, right? So inside XSplit, what you want to do, I'll bring XSplit here so you see it. You want to click remove and that removes the background, right? So, so what's happening now is uh, it's trying to, it removed my background and that's another background there. And the idea here is you could pop out out of the uh, window that's behind it. And you could go back there, and now you're back in, and you pop out. Now, if you have a Stream Deck, this could go really fast. Right now, I think my graphics card is struggling between uh, trying to do too many things, but it should look a lot smoother than this. Um, and also, there's one more bonus where it puts you behind, behind that, right? So we previously did this live, but I didn't think I had a chance to create one and share one so folks could try it themselves. Okay, so so that's what this is. So I'm gonna just minimize OBS. I'm going to go back to the website that I have here. Okay, dismiss all, and let's take a look at this. Let me switch this up. Uh, let's go and do Chrome. Okay, that's better. So all you gotta do is hit download on this, right? Once you download this, you'll get a zip file. You want to extract all the contents and place everything inside one folder in your OneDrive, hopefully. Uh, and then, and that would be a place where you can keep uh, making more references back to you once you import this. So inside OBS, if you remember, let me see if I can uh, bring back OBS. Okay, I have two instances of OBS running right now. I think I need to get this one back. Okay, here we go. So inside OBS, at the top, you would click on Scene Collection, right? Then you would click on Import, right? And then you would click the three dots and you would browse to import that JSON file. Once you've imported it, you will notice that you might not see it right away. And so click on Scene Collection and make sure you switch to the scene you've just imported, right? So that's gonna then load this, right? Once it loads up, it's gonna complain and say, hey, where are all the images in there? Uh, also the browser source for date and time, it, it, it may not load because it's looking for references uh, that are in my OneDrive, right? So you'll have to update this to your path. So point to the HTML file uh, that matches accordingly source date and source time. Now I'm gonna go and I'm going to open up the, uh, the HTML file uh, for this. So let's see if I can find it. It's in documents, it's in OBS, and it's inside of scenes. And it's inside of Teams Like a Boss. Okay, there it is. Those are all the files that I put in one folder. If you follow that, you'd have no trouble. 
make reference to the Microsoft or and your own company logo, make reference to the Teams meeting, which creates the background for what looks like a Teams meeting. Uh, then there's uh, two Viva backgrounds as well, so you could try that as well. Okay, now I'm gonna open up this in Notepad. Open with Notepad. Okay, it's uh, gone to another monitor. Let me bring that up here. What you need to do is scroll down and you should find, so actually, let me rewind this, not for the date. The date, uh, I believe will take it right off your system. It's going to be the time. Open with Notepad. Okay, so in this file, scroll right to the bottom. You'll find two div statements in there. Right. What you need to do is update this city from your, my city to your respective city. You can also add an emoji if you'd like, like the emojis nowadays. And at the end of the time, uh, I believe there is an ET. Let me just see where I put that. There it is, ET. So you want to replace this with PST, CST, uh, IST, GMT. I, I, replace this with what works for you. Yeah, that's it. Once you do that, you got this going. Okay, so now you've seen pretty much the new scene collection. So hopefully this helps you kind of like level up your own team's meetings and or if not, make them fun. All right, so let's see what else can I share with you. So very recently, I saw a comment somebody made on YouTube where I was doing a uh, green screen effect of popping out and and the gentleman uh, gave me a great idea and has a video on it uh, if I can remember his name I think it's James okay anyways so he's got this one cool YouTube and the effect goes like this so you have to imagine yourself you turn on your video but you fool folks by uh, creating a little bit of a visualization that looks like this Okay, so this looks like I'm in a Teams call and you can see the ring in there as well. I'm going to remove the photo. All right, so I appear in there and I could just freeze myself. So now it looks like I'm actually in a Teams meeting, <laughs> but really it's not, right? It's just a frozen photo in there. So that's, I thought that was a really cool effect. Uh, gentleman did green screen and come out of the ring, which was really insane, but that requires a physical green screen or some barriers to help uh, create that effect. So I thought that was really cool, right? Of course, we've got the spinning around. So, you know, you could spin around in your circle. So if you freeze yourself, you could just do the spin <laughs> right in there. So I thought that was fun. All right. And the little, let's see what I got else. So the last one I could share is uh, from Hugo. So Hugo showed me this one and I thought it was really creative. Uh, and so let's see what this effect looks like. So this is where you're in a meeting and you know, uh, <laughs> you're in a meeting and you just want to, you know, mess with folks. So here I'm in my office at home, right? Uh, and then you would just turn on some effect where, you know, it would look like there's another dude in your meeting. How silly is that, right? But I thought that was really funny. Uh, you know, it was a great effect. I started playing around and I came up with a few. What? Gotta go. Gotta end this stream. Looks like, looks like this guy needs me. Uh, although I could use some coffee. Let me see if the coffee dude's there. Oh, this is, no, this is the other dude still. He's still back. He's still... All right. <laughs> nah, not this one. Uh, how about this one? Is this the coffee guy? Yeah, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. All right. So I really like that. So that's kind of cool. Thank you, Hugo. That was really in uh, interesting. I thought that was funny uh, as well. Uh, so anyways, I dropped the link. It's in this, hopefully, this post. And if you want to try it, uh, those scenes out, you know, by all means, give it a shot. And if you have a question on how you want to use OBS with Teams or presentation, don't hesitate to reach out.
All right, that's it for me. Let me jump back in my DJ booth. Let's see where that's at. There we go. Let's activate some screens. All right. Awesome. All right. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys again.